The seasons come and go like thoughts of you Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue well, good morning. It is 7.30 in the morning and I am at Whole Foods. I'm such an adult right now. I'm so impressed. I am here to get some stuff for breakfast for my sister and my niece. I'm probably going to try to make some vegan waffles so I need to get some flour. I think I might have some but it's like old. I need some coconut milk, vegan butter, coffee, and I might look and see if they have like any vegan pies or anything yummy in case my waffles fail, which is not gonna happen. It's gonna be amazing and they're gonna be super impressed. I'm gonna get some like berries to put on top. But yeah, normally I could never even dream of waking up at this time, especially on the weekends. And now I'm at the grocery store, which might I add, Whole Foods is nowhere near my house. Like I had to take a hop and skip to get here. So I woke up at 6.30 and I'm just, you know, living my best life. My skin's not looking perfect, but I feel really great about it because it looks amazing compared to the alternative of how my skin used to look like. <laughs> So today is going to be an amazing day. I'm excited about it. And I'm gonna go in this Whole Foods and um, quickly grab some stuff because I gotta go home, tidy up a bit, and get to cooking. You came into my life just like another season. Not for long, just a time. Just like another season. Maybe this time next year. The thing that I love about waking up early and doing stuff early is that like there's barely anybody out. And you feel like, yes, I'm just, you know, out and living my life before people even get out of it. And the people I did come in contact with today were super, super nice. Somebody took my cart inside for me. I was like, ah, yes, yeah, Sunday, it's gonna be a good day. morning it is Monday morning and I am rushing around because I didn't do anything that I would normally do on Sunday evening to get ready for Monday and I slept in until like 7 20 this morning where is my other shoe <gasps> I mean where is this other shoe but me and my fiance are really just enjoying spending some time together and I kind of felt like we had just got engaged again it was kind of like that excitement again so I didn't really vlog we were just spending some quality time you know what I mean? But I am running late. I have to go to work. And then when I get home, I'll have about an hour to get my life together. Um, and then I'll go to yoga tonight. So I'm really excited about today. Just another chill day until we get into the crazy, hectic week. <sighs> I just got home from work. And if I look like garbage, it's because my day has been garbage. I work in property management, which means that some days are wonderful and great and then other days you literally just want to pull every strand of hair out of your head and that was today and I'm also on my period but of course it has nothing to do with it I picked two spots on my chin last night I'm a little upset about it because my skin was completely blemish free <sighs> I've been picking my mascara all day and it's legit all over my face it's just literally one of those days and you're gonna have them and you know it's fine because I'm going to yoga, I have to leave in like, I don't know, 20 minutes or something. Yoga will be nice, I'm gonna make myself a nice dinner, I'm gonna take a bath, and tomorrow is gonna be a new day. I'm gonna wake up early, I'm gonna get my life together, I won't have to work out tomorrow morning, I've already done my schedule. It will be a pretty hectic week, workout wise, but I do have tomorrow morning free. And I think I'm going to try on some wedding dresses on Saturday. Whoop whoop. Please look at my arm. Jax jumped on me and bruised my arm all up, even my hand. So everybody's been looking at me all day like I'm some kind of like domestic violence victim. 
So I'm back from yoga. It was pretty amazing. I feel a thousand times better now. I grabbed some stuff from Publix when I got out of yoga. I'm gonna make a grape salad again. So I got some green grapes, red grapes. I got some of this meatless bacon to use for a broccoli salad I have not made yet and have been meaning to. And I got some organic tofu. I really liked having it in my little veggie stir fry that I had last week, so I'm gonna do it again. And Philip asked for just some cheap bar soap because he doesn't like the natural stuff, but I mean, once you start reading ingredients, and like for instance, this one has this many, I can read them all. I kind of know what all of them are, except for that one. But the ingredients on like, dialed of like they start to get a little little tricky so this is what he gets and if he doesn't want to wash his butt with it then he could just be dirty what does perfect even mean is there even such a thing Oh my god, me. Good morning. Please ignore all this. I'm quickly packing my lunch bag because I overslept again. And let me tell you why. Hold on. I'm packing one of the meals that I made last night for lunch and I'm packing some of my grape salad and just a banana because I have some English muffins at work and I have an avocado because I have some Ezekiel bread at work. I don't know how moms live their lives because my dog woke me up again a million times last night and the last time he woke me up was 20 minutes before five o'clock so i was like okay i'm gonna wake up at 5 30 set my alarm for 5 30 didn't wake up again until after seven i don't know what happened and i have to be early to work today so i will see you this evening when i get home from the gym and work i feel like every shot of me is in the kitchen Okay guys, it is close to 8 o'clock and I am home. I'm the best girlfriend ever, so I stopped and got Philip some food and didn't get anything for myself because I'm on a budget and that wasn't in the budget. I ate my dinner tonight already for lunch earlier today. So I'm gonna make a big smoothie. I used to make smoothies in this thing every single day and then I started making like the smaller smoothies, but I'm gonna make a big old smoothie right meow because i'm hungry and i did strength training tonight and i need protein in my body because i'm trying to get some booty gains so last week with going to the gym twice a day and spending the whole weekend with family pretty much the entire time so i didn't get any of my normal house stuff done i didn't get my normal like plan out my week done so yeah that makes me stressed and this week i'm pmsing pretty hard and Jax is getting on my nerves this week. Jesus, take the wheel. I'm gonna make my smoothie. I'm gonna make my smoothie and I'll be back.
This is a different angle. Is that more of a variety for you? It's still the same kitchen. <laughs> I just got another damn mosquito bite on my forehead. Why? Here's what's gonna happen. I'm having a stressful week, but I'm gonna really try to turn it around. I'm gonna take a bath while I drink my shake. I'm gonna straighten up that towel right now because it's really bothering me. Do some dishes and then I'm going to rewrite my weekly schedule on my refrigerator because I have to see things. I've already written it out in my planner but I need to see it on the refrigerator and I want my fiance to see it too just so he knows what I have going on. Because planning and structure and things being done and clean is a stress reliever and also a bath and a clean ass is always nice to have. So I just finished a bar boot camp class. It was a 5.35 a.m. class, which means I had to wake up at five o'clock. And Jax woke me up a thousand times again last night. We've got to do better about getting his energy out. I get home so late in the evening. By the time I get here, it's time to eat, wash my ass, and go to bed. I was so tired this morning it hurt. I kind of wanted to cry a little bit when I got up this morning. I need to start making my smoothie. I had a very stressful night last night. I said I was going to de-stress by cleaning the house and taking a bath, which I did. And then when I got out of the bath, I picked my face, which brings my stress level to about here, which is pretty counterproductive. I've come a long way with my skin. It's very frustrating that, you know, I'm so close to having it back to normal and I basically self-sabotage myself. But just like last week, I'm in high hopes that it will be better by the weekend and I just, I gotta get a handle on this because it is something that will hold me back. I know it sounds silly, but like I didn't even want to finish filming the vlogs for the rest of the week. But then on the way home from the gym this morning, I was like, no, you're gonna have to face the music. You're gonna have to edit this back and look at this face and be like, you did this girl. You did it. You look crusty because you did that to yourself and don't do it again. you guys are higher because it makes me look slimmer <sighs> for real though I'm exhausted I just finished a boot camp class after work and I am exhausted I'm super excited because this weekend my fiance and I are going to be painting the walls in my master bathroom which is where I am now from this green color to probably just a white I love when people's houses are just nice and fresh and everything's like light colors I like white light grays, light blues, and my house is not cute. Like, I don't decorate. Pretty much everything in my house is the stuff that we bought when we got our first apartment, which was seven years ago, and everything was from like big lots or hand-me-downs, stuff from yard sales. So one day I would love to decorate my home and make it the way I would like it. Go ahead and get a nice oil cleanse going. Get all this makeup out of my pores. Second thing, um, this. I kind of have like an OCD issue. Like I talked about yesterday, um, when I get stressed, I will pick at my skin. Just what I do whenever I'm catching myself getting into that like picking at my skin real bad every day is I cover up my side of the mirror. Just where I can't see myself. A lot of times I can mentally be like, no, stop that. But sometimes I lose control. And I've done that this week. So I just put a pillowcase on the mirror and you can't break the rules by going to the other side of the mirror because this is a double-sided sink. And I think I'm going to tweak my schedule for tomorrow. I don't know, I'm gonna think about it over dinner. Expectations they keep weighing me down. My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head. I'm blind, I live inside the upside down for a minute and pretend. Honey, I'm a perfect 10.
stretching in, get my mind right, and I feel good right now. I weighed myself this morning, and I was 150, so I'm back to my lowest weight so far. I don't think my stomach's been this flat since I was like 20. Some of the people that I know who are like on their fitness journey have taken like before and after pictures, and I really wish I would have done that, but to be honest, when I weighed 179 pounds, I was not feeling myself. I did not want to take pictures. Like I was just constantly just looking at myself like, what did you do? Why did you do this? But from now going forward, I'll probably see a lot of small changes because the biggest change is already kind of, is this a camel toe? I don't think so, no. Um, <laughs> the big change has already happened, so I'll just kind of get more um, toned. I've already run a bath and I need to go hop in it. Hello and welcome back to my dirty bathroom. So I caught a little bit of a break today. Tonight I was gonna have two super hard classes, but when I got to the first class there was only one other person that showed up for class. So we ended up just walking the track. Like I said this morning, I was super fatigued today. Like I mentioned, it's shark week. <laughs> Is that a thing? Do people say that? What do you call your monthly? I don't usually call it anything. I just say I'm on my period because I'm gross. Tell me if you have any cuter ways to say that your uterus is shitting itself. So it's Thursday night and every Thursday night I lather my hair in more coconut oil because Thursday morning I always do a braid and coconut oil. And I leave it in my hair all day and then I'll load it up with even more coconut oil tonight and wash it in the morning. But for my skin, I like to do two masks. The first one I do is the one you see me do last night, which was the Indian Healing Clay. And I do like to mix it with apple cider vinegar. You can do water if your skin's more sensitive. Mine's sensitive, and I kind of worked up to the apple cider vinegar. And then I go in with this Drunk Elephant Baby Facial. This is a 25% AHA and 2% BHA. And it's strong. Don't leave it on for more than 20 minutes. And definitely don't layer it with other products because you might burn your face off. I know from experience. Good morning. It's Friday. Thank you, Jesus. I am getting ready to go to work. I'm excited because I'm actually going to my first like big wedding dress store today. In five years of being engaged, I've only tried on dresses at one place before and it's like a small consignment dress place because I would love to find my dress consignment because homegirl's balling on a budget. So I had requested a appointment and I already let them know like in the description what style I liked that I found on their website, what I wanted in a wedding dress, and that I will be on my lunch break and it will need to be quick. So needless to say, they're probably super excited to meet me because I sound annoying already. Tomorrow on Saturday, I'm also going to check out another wedding dress shop tomorrow morning. And then my fiance and I are going to be looking at a wedding venue tomorrow. So that's exciting. We've looked at a few in the past, but it always seems like a super expensive operation. I am making a mess. Just making my morning smoothie. I had the same shake without bananas yesterday and it was not the same. Good morning. Good morning, baby. Oh, look at this baby. You me so tired. Can anybody else like talk their pet to sleep? Like, look at this tired little boy. He's fighting it. <laughs> These are labeled wall and trim. We'll definitely be doing walls and trims. I have one of those. Well, it's bullshit. Yeah, that's a nice brush. You see the handle on that thing? Yeah, I hate it. 
Well, that's not a makeup brush. Yeah, I said it looks like one. Put your blush on the set. It's like makeup brushes. You only need one. They all do the same shit. Lies! <laughs> Comfort grip. We have a roller. Whoa. We've been watching way too much Shane Dawson. <laughs> Shane is like a bitch. <laughs> Got you some paint, baby. So I skipped my yoga class this evening, hang out with Philip, and I asked him if we can run by TJ Maxx real quick, and he tells me no. You see the shit that I have to put up with? Because I wanted to buy new towels for the bathroom, and he tells me that he doesn't like white towels. TJ Maxx is stupid. I need to know who doesn't like white towels. Uh, nobody likes white towels. You get all your dookie stains on them. <laughs> Why would you have dookie stains when you get out of the shower? You should be clean. Whatever. <laughs> Sick of it. We're breaking up. Drop me off. Actually, get out. This is my car. <laughs> Honey, I'm a perfect day. Precious, I like that one. It's twenty dollars. It's a lot cheaper than the other crap we're looking at, and it's way nicer. And we can get the matching tray. That is the ugliest tray I've ever seen, and the base is stupid looking. We're so aggressive today. about to put on some makeup very quickly because I am on my way to go wedding dress shopping at two different places and then Philip and I are going to go look at some venues actually one venue just one I only set up one appointment for a venue this weekend because we need to get started on painting the bathroom and I really don't want to get overwhelmed with a bunch of venues because to be honest most of them are out of our price range anyways. So yesterday basically I had made an appointment earlier in the week to go um, to this place on my lunch break and look at wedding dresses. Didn't find what I needed um, but the lady was like so just so you know like when you have to order a dress unless you're buying like the display it's gonna take anywhere from six to nine months to get a dress. And I was like, what did you say? I did not know this. So basically I need to find my dress right now. I would also like to find it like consignment if possible, like pre-use something because, I mean, I need some breaks here. Getting married is expensive. So it kind of sucks because the place that I'm most excited to go to, I only have 30 minutes to spend there. That's it. And then I have to rush back to go to the other place that I actually have an appointment with. But I stopped by there yesterday on my way home just to peek in there and I didn't see very much that I liked. So basically I have to rush the place that I think that they'll have a lot of stuff I liked because I found some stuff on their Instagram and I asked them if they still have those particular dresses and they said yes. There's also a place that I want to check out in Spartanburg um, called Castle. That looked pretty promising. All of these places were all suggestions by people that I work with. I'm kind of clueless when it comes to this stuff. So I lied. The name of the place is called Carolina Traditions, not Southern Traditions. Sorry. So I got here a little early and I'm just waiting on them to open. There's two girls working and they both have you know two girls coming so they already have appointments I don't know if they're gonna let me try on by myself or if I'm only gonna be able to look so we'll see for an appointment so I was able to try on all the dresses I wanted yeah and one of them was kind of amazing it made me cry like a f***ing girl I wish I could get your opinion but I guess it's not how it works yes not so I'm at place number two this is Carolina bride and groom in Simpsonville I already came yesterday and picked out 
all the styles that I wanted to try on so this should be pretty quick and then I'm gonna get some breakfast I only had some grape salad and a banana for breakfast I brought another one but I felt like that was a little excessive and I have my little water stay hydrated ladies <laughs> oh I my sunglasses so I just left the second store and the dress that I found there that I like is the same exact style from the last place that I liked that made me cry. So I came yesterday evening to that place that I just left and picked out that same dress and then drove all the way to Spartanburg this morning and went and found the same dress and then came here and tried on again the same dress, if that makes sense. I'm definitely going to look a couple more places, but I think by like my birthday, I took that day off, I think I would like to make a decision that day. So that's two weeks from now. The only thing about that dress that I'm really surprised about is I feel like it's not as like sexy as I was going for it, but you know, I definitely feel like a woman, I feel like a bride. Get out. You got pain on your nose. That's wet paint right there, bud. Get up. Ow. This is wet right here. Get back. Back, 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 back. Get back. Jax. So we finished painting the bathroom. We ended up going with like a light blue color. The only part that has to be finished is the trim on the bathtub. Still has a little bit of green on it, so we have to touch that up. But besides that, it's done. I want to go to Home Depot and look for new globes for this light fixture because they were really ugly. <laughs> Philip, you're not allowed to come in here because I am very busy. Yeah, but it's awkward. Oh, let me just turn off my vlog. I'm in the middle of a very important point. <laughs> That's not even funny. I got some of this fake beacon. <laughs> yeah, like I'm literally just dying right now. I'm sitting in my bed. I need to get ready. I need to eat a snack because I'm starving. I can't stop looking at the viewfinder. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going 16 miles an hour. 16. Hold on, is it bikers or cyclists? Oh, cyclists. Oh, well, let every single fucking one of them. There's a painter watching this right now, cringing. Just kidding, there's probably nobody watching this right now. <laughs> Look at his shorts. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. It matches vagina. Philip, stop. I was hoping she was to ask me for my email. I'd be like, giant cock loving 69. Yahoo. Whoa. 